I've got a question that I want to ask you today. The majority of Christians would actually miss this question. If I ask you, why did Jesus come to earth? Everybody would say, to die on the cross for our sins. Yes, that is true. But I want you to understand what a lot of people do is they get in their mindset that when they understand that there is a way for eternal life in heaven, that's when they stop. But you know, Jesus Christ came to die on the cross for our sins for salvation. And he also died on the cross for our healing. A lot of people, they don't even talk about healing. They're just worried about eternal salvation. And I'm so thankful that Jesus came and paid the price for our salvation. But you know what? There's so much more. There was so much more to the life of Jesus. So let's dive into the Word of God. It says in Luke 4, 43, I'm going to read this from two different translations. But Jesus said, Do you not know that there are other places that I must go and offer them hope, the hope that is found from God's kingdom realm? And then it said, This is the reason that I have been sent. Now, another translation says it like this, But Jesus said to them, I must preach the kingdom of God to all the other cities because for this is the purpose that I have been sent. This is what the Word of God says. You know, Jesus came to die on the cross for our sins, yes. He came to die on the cross for our healing, yes. But He lived for 33 and a half years. What we have to do is we have to understand and study out the life of the man, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, out of His own Word, said that I have came to preach and teach the Kingdom of God. He came to bring the Kingdom of God from heaven to earth. Understand that everything is created in heaven, but it is manifested on earth. You know, some people say, well, I don't understand what that is about. When Jesus would preach and teach on the kingdom of God, the kingdom was always manifested. And what you must understand is when Jesus taught the word of God, miracles, signs, and wonders always followed. Jesus didn't go and preach but when he preached, he demonstrated the power of God, the power of the kingdom. Now, let me ask you this. What is lacking in the kingdom of God? Absolutely nothing. So nothing should be lacking in what we do. See, there is no limitation to God, so there should be no limitation to us. There is no measure to God, so there should be no limitation to us. What you must understand as Jesus came to walk in the power and the fullness of the kingdom of God and he gave us that authority. You have to understand how powerful that you are. Jesus came to die on the cross for our sins. He died on the cross for our healings. And as I said, what the word talks about in Luke 4:43, he came to preach and teach about the kingdom of God. And he taught us how to manifest the kingdom of God. There is nothing lacking in the kingdom. Therefore, there should be nothing lacking in your life. I hope this helped you. I hope this encouraged you, equipped you, and trained you. Now you go out there and preach and teach about the kingdom of God and let the power of the Lord flow through your life.